Bozeman police responded to three email bomb threats yesterday and another one was received today. MTN's Medeiros Babb has more on the story. Police say it was a little afternoon on Thursday when an office building on Valley Commons Drive received an email threat about a bomb being inside its building. It was kind of an extortion. Uh, there was a demand for money to be paid by uh, cryptocurrency or bitcoins and that if their, their demands were not met, they were going to detonate. Police say the email also stated not to contact police, otherwise the bombs would be set off. Captain of the Bozeman Police Detective Division, Corey Klum, said he sent ununiformed officers in unmarked cars to the scene to determine if the threat was credible. So it's something that we typically don't do, but in order not to, um, you know, stir things up, we, we tailored our response to what was in the, the email. Later in the day, two other email threats were made in Bozeman, but it wasn't the only place in Montana. Similar emails were received in Helena, Missoula, Shelby, and even across the entire nation. There were a lot of things that, that allowed us to tie all these together. Um, like I said, the broken English and the, and the Bitcoin and the same, if we see authorities, we will take action and those kind of things. Police say they believe the threats are non-credible, but advise anybody who does receive a threat to contact the police immediately. In Bozeman, Madera's Bab, MTN News. And as Madera just reported, similar threats were around the nation. They were made yesterday, shutting down schools, hospitals, and businesses. And again, the FBI believes these threats are coming from a third world country and are not credible.